if I go back to continuity plan, you see that there's nothing. Now I'd like to run that by running the master scheduling and choose the SP3. SP3 is very similar to the static plan, but now you literally go and run a continuity. That means it's something that has to be continuous throughout your operation. I go back to the plan orders and I select the SP3. And as you see, different sets of values have been created for me. So it really depends on your company's wish. You can select any of these plans and decide about it. And I ran it for three different master plan, a static, dynamic and continuous as well as the forecast plan. Now let's talk about the concept of firming. What does firming mean? If you take a look at these planned orders as name indicates, they're all planned. You can delete them. They don't exist really. They don't affect anything, but they are suggested. If you firm it, it converts a plan order to an actual order. So if it's a planned production, it becomes a production order. If it's a planned purchase order, it becomes a purchase order. So if I select one of these lines and click edit, let's first take a look at the planned production order. And as we see, there are detailed information about it. If you take a look at the pegging it says why do you need to produce it says due to the safety stock why because the item coverage now it tells me you need to have minimum 300 that's why you have to make that however if i take a look at completely different product here such as ebook black case you see that the pegging data is a bit different and tells me why do you need to buy that because it's a member of a bomb therefore it's a bomb line so therefore you need to buy it because you said so in order to make the ebook you have to have that raw materials and you're not producing yet so therefore you need to let it go about and buy it needless to say some of the bomb lines may be a production items also perhaps it could be a production order but is a bomb line so there are lots of capabilities here once you are in this form is a great idea to take a look at the plant supply and say okay from whom am i going to buy this this is the error message you were getting you didn't have any vendor so i assign a vendor and i say i'm going to firm it against cameron's world and here i can click on a firm button on the action pane and that indeed converts this plan into an actual order pay attention to the planned order item which is 120. As soon as I firm this, it progresses to the next plan which is 121. That means you no longer have that as a plan order. It become a purchase order. So now if I go to the second one, I have 3,000 items that I need to buy. Alternatively, let's say I don't have budget. It goes back to the concept of finance and cash flow. I'm going to only buy a portion of this. So what should I do? The master planning has asked me to buy 3,000. I have a capability to split it. And I say I have only budget to buy 350. So when I click OK, out of the 3,000, it's going to split it into two separate plan orders and it progresses and actually as you can tell it goes to the next order if i go and close this form now refresh my list page you indeed see at, at the bottom of this list page you have a new plan order has been created it and it deducted it from the 3000 so i can firm that one so i can now go to the edit specify the planned supplier which happens to be cameron's world in my scenario which is already set up i click firm and now this also becomes a purchase order now if i go back to procurement and sourcing I can verify indeed this line is no longer a plan order. Of course, you could have refreshed it, but I directly go back to the procurement and sourcing. And if I take a look at the purchase orders, two additional purchase orders have been created. The last two have been firmed right off of my master planning. So now if I take a look at all the other orders that are not firmed, I can write from the procurement and sourcing, take a look at all the planned orders. It shows a filter of all those master planning that has been suggested to me. By going through this demonstration, I hope you learned enough about master planning and its power in order to be used within the operation.